Yeah, we're not in the club, but we're right next to it. Me and my crew, we are country club adjacent. Country club adjacent. Country club adjacent, baby. Country club adjacent. Country club adjacent, baby. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of Country Club Adjacent. It's been a while since we've had more than two people in the studio, but today, Mart, we actually have a um, guest, a former, a former host and new guest. Yes, uh, I'm Mart Smalls, uh, the Dartsman, Mart the Dartsman, formerly known as Never Been in the Slot, now known as I'm All in the Slot. We're well, ready to drop it in your mom's slot. That's right, um, the slot cot. Sitting next to us, <sighs> excited to have him in studio. Jake Adams, Jake everybody. Jake Adams. A round of applause for the young man. <laughs> thank, you, thank you guys for having me on. Uh, Dude, <laughs> it's been so long since Jake has been here. Oh, it's going to be back, bro, with Dude. almost all of the podcast. Yeah. I just, I was on a three and a half week bender. This motherfucker journey. is hammered right now. Yeah. Still. He just got out of rehab, He guys. hasn't slept in four days, mm -mm. dude. Yep. Wow. It's locked up in Australia. Um, I heard that <laughs> dumb podcast. So you guys, dude, so much. Would you guys just lie to our audience? Yeah, <laughs> that was a good lie, though. That was believable. That dude. was so believable. I forgot yeah. what I it was. I didn't get any DMs. It wasn't believable. Okay, well, whatever, dude. People know by now. They yeah. know what you're up to. Well, they know. Wolf. We dude, we warned them about the two person pod. Listen to every city that I was in in the past three weeks. So many. Go uh, fire away. Oklahoma, Michigan, sucks. Cape Cod, sucks. Sucks. <laughs> okay. It's just blind sucks there. Yeah. Michigan nah. was beautiful. Oklahoma, honestly, the dinner slapped. We went to the back to the same place twice. I believe it. Okay. I can imagine. There's um, a lot of fat people there. Cape Cod was uh, was just, it was the Cape. You know, it was fucking the best. Dude, that's Ask home. About it. That's well, home. I'm excited that's for Griff that's to talk home. about the Cape. He Griff will move to the Cape. This man was in his element. Really? Dude. Just white people? And brown shoes and brown everywhere. Shoes, Seafood dude. dude, just fire clam chowder for slippers. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. He's a big clam chowder guy. He's a guy, clam huh? girl, I know. Yep. And then I went to New York for uh, a couple days. Uh, Is he your girlfriend? Yes. Uh, and then from there, yes. <laughs> I literally... For, Bet for, you didn't have for, sex, though, pussy. For tw for twenty hours, <laughs> small, a little bit of sex, right? What is that about? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That was like that's like a joke that you just like say you don't have sex, but I know that you may take that personally. I didn't mean that as a personal attack. And then I and then I flew to uh, Palm Palm Beach, Palm Springs, Palm Springs, which is across the country yep. for probably. 20 hours. Yep. Did the encore event uh, with uh, um, Anthony Anderson's tournament, which was a lot of fun. I know it looks so much fun, dude. Then, that was so much fun. It looked like so much fun, it, dude. dude. Honestly, <laughs> a lot of people said it was fun. It was so much fun. Alex, you were there. Yeah, it was cool. It See? looked like it looked like a lot of fun. I got fucking hassled by Don Cheadle. Don <laughs> Cheadle got on my head. So bad, dude. Really? I don't know if you've ever been. Um, Are you gonna fight him? I don't know if you've ever been roasted by a Oscar-winning actor. Yeah. But dude, Don Cheadle got on my head so. It was so one of those hard. things where he pulled up and he was just like made a joke about Stott's pigtails, and I'm like, oh, that's funny. Mark, like, Mark's pigtails. It's sorry, my pigtails. Sorry, Mark's, it's Mark's, Mark's pigtails. Mark's yeah. pigtails, and I was like, oh, that's funny, like a, like a one-liner, and then he just continued to talk about Mark's pigtails for the next 15 minutes. That's, yeah. And would not drop it. That's because he pulled up, and I kind of chirped at him, which What'd I you normally say? don't. What'd I was you say? like, I was like, finally. A famous person pulled up. We were promised famous people. <laughs> All we've got was one Don Cheadle. And he goes, honestly, one Don Cheadle is like five famous people. I was like, Don, it's like 40 famous people. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. And then I hopped out. I said, what's up? And then he was like, your pigtails. Your pigtails. He said something about uh, pigtails. He goes, he goes, you ever do cornrows? I go, Don, I promise you, I will never do cornrows. Will you give me the pass, Don? <laughs> no, I, I was like, I'll never. He goes, bro, you got to do cornrows. I go, Don, I made it this far in my life dressing like this. I should have maybe have tried cornrows. It will never happen. He goes, don't say never. He goes, I, I see it in your future. And then he just starts getting on my head about getting cornrows. Yeah, it was so funny. And then leaving, he was like, cornrows in your future, man. <laughs> That's so funny. Dude, he was so fucking cool. 
Yeah, yeah, he was probably the the coolest. I mean, I don't know. They were all. Cool. And we all bombed. Great. We were. Then we ethering. bombed in front of Dom Cheadle. Dude, oh, we, no. it's done. We were ethering people all day. And then that group. And then Don Cheadle pulls up, and we just clam up, dude. I mean, what do you say to him? Dude, other what than do you the say fact, to Don other Cheadle? Than, other than like, uh, I could have said some shit. Griff had a decent one. Griff had a decent one. He what was like, you? I haven't seen you in a movie in a while. You started OnlyFans called uh, Don uh, Creep. Creeple, Creeple, which was yeah. like nah, yeah. was, almost. I, I literally went like this. Ugh. Yeah. And Don went ugh <laughs> as well. Yeah. Yeah. You got to say something about like, wow, Oscar winner to Marvel films. Mm -hmm. That's how you know you made it. Yeah. And some, I almost said like, like oh, maybe we'll put him in a Marvel film. And then I I almost said that unrealizing because I don't watch superhero movies that he's in every fucking Marvel film. Yeah. He's like yeah. in all of them. Yeah. And then also I could have you could have said like. Give it up for fucking all his accomplishments in Ocean's 11, Ocean's 12, Ocean. You know, you could have said some bullshit. Yeah, dude, I, I went home that night or like that, that weekend and I watched uh, just a little dicky show, Dave. And mm -hmm. all of a sudden, Don Cheadle pops up. He's yeah. fucking hilarious. Yeah, in that show. dude. He <laughs> seems like he's so cool. Dude, yeah. Cristobal was at the tournament. Chris, Cristobal? Cristobal. Who's that? From Barry. Are you watching Barry? Oh, yeah. nice, dude. Cristobal was at the Our fucking boy. tournament. And, and we didn't know till he was like driving off. Damn it. Yeah. We were just like, that was Cristobal. Yeah, but look at this dude with a big head. Yeah. A small body. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then it, he's, you know, great actor. That's and, so And funny. then. Bombed on Cristobal. Bombed on fucking Anthony Anderson. Yeah. Wait, Griff, I thought yeah. there was a good one. Griff did have no, a good dude, one. No, dude, no. Anthony Anderson, we had a banger. Yeah, Griff. Yeah. DL Hugely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I have a banger one that's not, uh, that's unseen yet. Well, I'm, you know, one one man editing team over here. They're fucking false. <laughs> All right. <laughs> if we, I'm if just we excited can, to see my banger. If bro. we can close up this three and a half week trip, maybe I'll have some time now. To yeah. Fucking, yeah. Um, I so, dude, I had a so banger one, though. We I went, had a banger. I'm one. excited. Yeah. We went from the encore event to Payne's motherfucking valley. I know, dude. I, it's so funny. Oh, I was like, oh, take me back immediately. I was in Vegas at the spa having like a slight amount of FOMO and I don't get FOMO. <laughs> I do. I can watch anyone shit and be like, ah, oh, whatever. I don't give a fuck. I've done that. It's cool. I, and then, but this, I was like, yeah, God damn it. It yeah. was, a, it was a pretty like, uh, I'll just say the first class flight out was just phenomenal. <laughs> it was just phenomenal. <laughs> I mean, what a flight, even from Palm Springs to Colorado. It's, it's Rocky, right? Like, mm -hmm. cause if you're leaving from turbulence, you're flying into turbulence. Yeah. We get into Payne's Valley. And we walk into an Airbnb, and let me tell you, the first Airbnb that we've been on a trip in like three years that I was like, oh my God, I have a bedroom. And not only that, there's like multiple bedrooms. Mark wow. wow. had nine beds to choose from. I had a whole downstairs floor. Yeah. I had Jesus. the downstairs yeah. basement to myself. Wow. Yeah, this Airbnb was sick. And then, so once we like kind of got our bearings at Big, uh, Big Cedar Lodge, we basically ate at the same place eight times i mean that's great it yeah. was just right on top of the pains clubhouse did they have steak dude yeah they had like buffalo that's all i would have eaten <laughs> they had bison buffalo that was they on had the elk course. they Fuck. had all sorts of soups bison soup and elk soup and yeah holy shit it was phenomenal God and let's talk it. about the courses dude every so every single course just kept getting better throughout the round and it was just like we started by playing uh buffalo ridge which they say is the worst of the three courses, but the back nine there is incredible. And I I Mark, would argue it's my favorite of the courses. That the back nine there was pretty special. Yeah. yeah. And there's like the course where you like Liff was staring down a buffalo for ten minutes. Yeah. Just game respects game. You know, a couple big fellas. Yeah. Uh, I would have loved the course if I didn't throw a complete temper tantrum. <laughs> um, <laughs> Mark throwing a temper tantrum. What's new, Jake? Yeah, but like I was playing so good the whole day. Yeah, sorry. And was fucking four up on Jake <laughs> with two holes left. And we were playing stroke play. Just had an absolute meltdown. And puts up a 10 on a par 5. And <laughs> it was... It was... <laughs> It, I was like, oh, shit, Mark might beat me for the first time ever. Like, he's oh, playing well. And the whole before that. Play. a 10 dude, on a par 5. So, dude. I, I, Mark and I were like, he was playing great, and we were tied. And then I made an 8 on, on a, a par four, 4. And I parred the hole. And, oh. and it was a tough. Like, and with with two holes left to go in the match. So, I'm like, yeah. I got it. Like, something needs to happen here. And then there's a par 5. Mark hit the best drive he ever hit. Oh, the best no. three wood he ever hit. And this was a long par 5 over water. 
And so he had like he was in between clubs, had like a hybrid. He doesn't have a hybrid or like a. But we were just or, talking about how I need a hybrid. Yeah. Ah! And, and, and I get just, the 205. Yeah. And, ah! just, like, and just the shit lie. And then from there, like he finally like uh, he lost his weight on that hole. <laughs> so he was in his own head. And then finally the group behind us caught us. And he just like, just like I melted ran, down. ran to like chips. Phil, Phil, the marshal was chirping us. Yeah. Meanwhile, I was like, I need this. So and badly. he was in, he was, he stayed in the pocket. I was out of the pocket. I put up a 10. I stayed in the pocket. I had a putt for birdie. And then Mark and Dalatouche were both putting for like nines and tens. And no, like, I am right no. back in this. Baby. Yeah. It sucked, dude. Yeah. And so, Damn the, it. so the rest of my round sucked. Um, that being said, then we then we played the par three course. Talk I won't spoil the rest was of the that video. Just like magic, it was magic. I bro. know it was. God damn. So wait, we're going back like again soon. This right? was just the first day. We can yeah next yeah. year. I think we run it. And back. so that was yeah. the first day. So we were supposed to have um, a, a different creator out there, a content creator that will be named unnamed. Um, like well, just like we had some miscommunication, and 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 so be it. It it, it makes a lot of sense. Now I don't mind naming her. It, it was a miscommunication and like honestly it wasn't a miscommunication it was it was the manager stepping in and being in a place where it, it you, you shouldn't be there yes you I, should not be a part of this conversation it was between us uh, but you and also this girl okay but you also have to understand that this girl is a female working in a place an overnight workplace with three other dudes that they she's never met so you have to be overly careful and the last conversations that we had with them moving forward are great and we're going to do content with her. It's going to be fucking great. Yeah. But this manager is, sucks and she he's just looking out, out for her, his client reached out to us to yes. make something with us. And, and, and this manager has never seen our content before mm -hmm. steps in the day she was supposed to drive to come meet us and goes, Hey, I just want to see like, are we, is she getting paid for this? And it was just like, this is not where you need to be at all. Yeah, day of. Like, day of. Yeah. Like, literally, she should have already been on the road. And she goes, hey, can you talk to my manager? I'm like, okay, sure. But, like, and then what? Well, we couldn't have handled it any better on our end. Yeah. Um, it's like a collaboration. Was, yeah. It's not. Yeah, we handled yeah. it very professionally. That being said, we took the trip with Daltouche. Uh, shout out Touche Tease Off. Um, and he goes, hey, I got a buddy. Last minute play. We go, great. Does he have a following? He goes, absolutely not. We go, nothing? He goes, nothing. He goes, but he's a fucking phenomenal hang. And he's working on the content. We go, fuck it. We talk to him on the phone for like two seconds. We go, run it. Let's do You're it. Like, done. Drove six hours over. Dude, drive six from, hours. From Texas? From, from Texas. Texas. At the drop of a hat overnight. Shows up at the house at 530 in the morning. Ready to tee off. Big shout out to the homie Scootsy Golf. Mm -hmm. Dude, what a champion. This guy. Nice. Dude, between him and Touche makes the trip. We show up at the par three course the next day. Was it the par three course? We played Ozarks first. Oh, in the we morning. played the Ozarks in the morning. Yep. And then the, the kid par three could course. play. You and him could stripe the ball. Yeah. Dude, you and him bomb the ball. God damn it. I'm, you yeah. and him got the same like thick lower oh, half. Yeah. He's yeah. Got, yeah he's you and him got the same like lower half build. I'm like, dude, I've seen that donk before. Ooh, it's just you're a, like, I know that donk. It's just like a bigger version because it's like the taller version of your donk. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But still like proportional to his body. Yeah. But unproportional because it's a big donk. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just in general. Yeah, just in general. It's like proportional but unproportional. Like, did you guys get BBLs? No, not yet. Not yet, but you striped the ball. And, dude, we just had a fucking day out there learning Canadian that. slang. The first, dude, the dude, Canadian said, slang bro, is so funny. This. Dude, it was like I was this. in an episode of Letter Kenny. Oh, he, my God. He hit Mark with, uh, oh, you want some summer teeth? Some are here, some are there. Yeah, because I, I like chirped at him. He goes, oh, you want some summer teeth, bud? I go, huh? He goes, ah, some are here, some are there. I was like, dude, I fucking love this dude, guy. Dude, oh, my God. My favorite my favorite Canadian slang is uh, is uh, calling legs getaway sticks. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. Look at those getaway sticks, yes, huh? Yes, yes. He had a bunch of those. Dude, so funny. so funny. Just come on, bud. And so he introduced us. Him and Touche introduced us to... Um, Shotgun mulligans mm -hmm. and we go what the fuck's a shotgun mulligan you told me about that and you just shotgun a beer if you want a mulligan and it's such a it's such a good and fair thing to do mm -hmm. because you get an opportunity for a second shot yeah but you're also getting uh 
opportunity for late game mess ups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you you take it, you take the extra shot, but then now you just chug the beer. Your tummy's full. Exactly. It might hit you pretty quick. And it just makes the round more fun. Yeah, it makes it more fun. Me I mean, and Jake are fun. not. Me and Jake are not big drinkers. Me and Jake <laughs> were fucking hammered out there. <laughs> we put down so much alcohol and mushrooms because me and Jake Dude, there was just... one hole coming down the stretch where like we were like two down like they they played great yeah and yeah. I, I mean i had a six iron in my hand pulled it we had we had uh like three shotgun mulligans left i had a six iron in my hand i took all three because i kept messing up but we had to we had to hit a good shot here yeah, yeah. we had to so he's just so shotgunning three shotgun in mulligans the, middle, in a row. the group behind <laughs> us is just seeing a kid go to the cart shotgunning <laughs> Hitting a ball, going to the cart, <laughs> shotgunning, hitting a ball. Dude, what? So the group <laughs> behind us is like, what is three going a, on? Wait, so you could take as many as you want in a row? No, no, we had, we had a cap In a row. Like three, There's a cap, but you can take as many percent. as you want in a row. That is crazy. Yeah. And, that is. And, and I was playing kind of good to where I was like, I mean, Jake, you you go for it. You're, you're, you're taking the shotguns. It was so fun. Then we get to the par three course. And, well, and yeah, there's one more thing about Ozarks I want to touch. Oh on. yeah, go for it. Because the group behind us were also these uh, these older Canadian guys, and yes. they just looked at Mark and they're like, "Oh, this guy probably has some weed." So oh, they yeah, asked dude. you for weed. Oh, dude. So they, but Mark only has this like hash pipe. Like, yes. So okay. strong, I got the pro so the puff code, yeah, the proxy. The puff, Shout yeah. out Puffco proxy. Shout out Puffco proxy. No free ads, but I love the device. It's um, a great device. It's so a great device. We we Mark gives this guy some hash. So Jake it. offers my weed to them. Yeah, <laughs> I get out. And That's Jake fair. Goes, That's okay. Jake goes, "Can you get these guys high?" And I go, "Hell yeah!" I mean, you know, it's pains. You know? Yeah, you're offering yeah. up your own weed. And then um, we we're, we're in the fairway. We look back, and this dude is just laying down on the tee box. <laughs> no, <laughs> they're all circled around him. I load up a fat dab of Cali hash, bro. Yeah. These Canadians are like, "Oh, we're from British Columbia, yeah. but you don't smoke Cali hash." Yeah, dude. Load up a fat no! glob. Yes. <laughs> and Dude, and I let them hit. That. I let them all hit it. I let the two dudes hit it that wanted to smoke. We get into the middle of the fairway. I'm like piecing up a little five wood bender. I look yep. back. The dude's on his back, and the other <laughs> dudes are circled around him. Yeah. And I was like, "Oh, let's go! <laughs> let's... Welcome, to, welcome to Missouri, folks!" Wow, that was so, so good. Play those arcs. We go to the par three course after, and now of course for the nine off, hole or eighteen. Oh, uh, this is a thirteen hole par three Ooh. course. Thirteen hole par three this, course. So there's Ooh. one par three course we could take carts. Yeah. This one mountaintop. It was you walking walk. only with push carts, but it was like pretty flat. And yeah. They had like these crazy bridges. I will show you some videos of like I saw them on the on bridges. the story. Yeah. It was it was so fun. Fuck. And what they don't know about mm. us. What yeah, did, we won. What did they know? They, they beat us at Ozarks on a on an actual golf course. Uh, like they played, they played really well. But they like, played very but well. But then we go to the par three course. We like double our money, and like they, they just they didn't know about Weddington. They yeah. don't oh. know about oh. the par three gods that is yeah. Jake and Jake and Mart. I, I kind of I kind of careered at this par three course. Oh, Jake! No. Yeah. Like I, Jake carried me on this. How? Par three course. How? What was? You, do you know what you shot? Or? Uh, I shot one under, but it was like kind of. There was holes. There was tough, and like there was yeah, like a couple six irons out there. Um, okay. Yeah. I so shot, it's got I some long. I actually long shot par under threes. par both days that we we played that par three course. Wow. And then we went back the next day. I think I I held it down on that par. We three ham course. and egged a little bit. Yeah. We you, ham and egged you, for so sure. So you uh, you guys are both like in the slot right now, eh? Yeah, we were kid. Martin and I were playing some good golf. Kid. Yeah. We were playing some good golf. We were hitting some good shots and, and when did, it mattered. Did it? Did you get more dialed as the days went on? Yeah, I did, yeah, yeah. Because we were yeah. taking the mushrooms, we were getting more dialed. Nice. And and you know and what also sucks? Like f like seven rounds to like work on your game. Yeah. I know, I know. That's that is actually something that I have not done in a very long time. Where we like mm. where actually play a few rounds in a row. You know what sucks too is like off cam we were just eating these two dudes alive. Up until we turn the camera on, Touche just makes like three, four birdies in a row. God yeah, damn it. Did, yeah. It was like insane. But that was at Payne's the next day. Yeah, but they were still like all of a sudden they flipped the switch and they started playing lights out golf. Yeah. And we didn't change our gameplay. We were still playing good golf. Yeah, they just stepped it they up just, to another just gear. Like, like we were fighting. We were grinding. We at beat them the like, like four and two on the front nine. And then the back nine we, we filmed for Payne's. And Toos just steps up and makes like three 
fucking 25 footers. What's his row. handicap now? Is he's he... like, a, no, he's like an eight. Yeah, he's like an eight. Yeah. yeah. Like, I took he... him for every Indo match I won. Yeah. Yeah. Every Indo match no, one, I won. We didn't play for money on the YouTube video. <laughs> That's the course. only match they won. Yeah, they just oh cannot play for money. God damn it, <laughs> they dude. They just cannot play for money. Yeah. We just ate him up. When any any sort of money, the kid's a fucking multimillionaire and he's stressing over Breaking. $50. Touche, Touche started the trip with 14 clubs in his bag, left, no exaggeration, five clubs. Dude, that is insane. He snapped. A, <laughs> dude, on one of the par fives, on what, dude, listen, on one of the par fives, halfway through the par five, Touche snaps a six iron, throws it into the woods, right? Yeah. We continue playing. We get up to the hole, to the green. There's, there's one tight, right? I go... Dude, I mean, Touche snapped a club, so that's probably for like eight, right? Yeah. We get up. We go, Touche, what's that for? He goes, that's for par. <laughs> we go, what? He goes, yeah. I go, dude, you have a tap in for par? You snapped a club? He goes, I'm a fucking head case. Like, dude, I've never seen a guy snap a <laughs> club and make par on the hole. Yeah, wait, what the fuck? He and, made and a furthermore, five. Why does he have these anger issues? See, I have the anger issues because I used to be great. I used to be... I used to be pissed off if, if I shot anything over 75. It's just the competitive in, in he tournaments. Like losing. He but that's like insane, losing. though, because you know you've why? never been good at golf. Stots. You're new to the fucking game. Look at, he's not new. He's been playing for a while. How long? Well, he's, he like started when he was five, but yeah. took a break. Yeah. He, like, Did, he, he came up the, recently, uh, though, right? He started a golf page recently. Recently, but he's Maybe been playing his whole life. What a cocksucker. No, no, no. It's the competitiveness. It's the competitiveness. And when you're losing Indo matches, to a guy in pigtails and not a collared shirt and fucking Jordans on, he was fucking livid because uh. every course we show up to, he is, he's like, how can you be dressed like this? Like respect the game. And it's like, nah, dog, I love the game. Yeah. I love it how I love it. Yeah. But to lose to someone in pigtails, <laughs> yeah. like that's got to I mean, that's kind of hot though. Uh, dude, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> to uh, lose to someone in pigtails, yeah, like, it's like you know, hell but yeah, he was dude. mad. He was throwing a fit. Me and Jake are on mushrooms, just giggling. <laughs> dude, it was so yeah, funny. Mark and I were in a great place all week. Me and Jake were in a great place all week. I love that. It yeah. looked like a lot of fun, and uh, you know, like I said, I don't get FOMO for pretty much anything. But we do that. have a little bit of we did have a little bit of drama. I don't know if we should discuss here. Oh, yeah. But before we do that, can I just say, uh, like, one thing? Yeah. Uh, say dude, one Stotts, thing. You, you, this, this was the, one of the most unbeatable plays I've ever done in my life. What? We played Ozarks. Hot day out there. Um, we, we had about, like, two hours before our next tea time. Okay. Uh, in, oh, in the locker room at you Payne's, cock. I had a full, full beard. Like, I haven't shaved in a couple weeks. Oh, yeah. I go down. I, I take a shower. I take a shower. I buy new socks. Take a shower. Shave Jake. everything but the mustache. Show back up to dinner. Don't show back up to lunch. Just fully clean with a mustache. Just what's up, boys? Fresh shower, just, fresh round. Wow. Fully clean. And then go and shoot one under at the. At yeah, the, and he uh, just ate everybody up. Yeah, yeah just, and there was like yeah. I snapped. I, I beat two, six, and five. Yeah. Oh my god, dude! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> shat on him, dude. And I chirped at him. I'm like, oh, this was like, how <laughs> this was how shitty of a place Jake was in, dude, dude, this asshole. This is how good of a place Jake and me were in. Yeah. Was oh yeah, dude, <laughs> dude, we're in a we're in a cart match and we're not doing any indos. We didn't do any indos the whole time against each other. Yeah. We're nice. Like, that's what that's what kept it okay. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah. Exactly right. Yep. We're up like four in the cart match and he's up like six on the indo. He's up like four in his other indo with Scootsy. Yeah. There's like four holes of play. Jake looks at me and, on the tee box and he goes. And he goes, hey, man, uh, I, I just, like, really need something right now. No, to, I said, no, I, I didn't need, but, like, I was just, I was like, hey, I'm getting a little bored. Yeah, he was like, I'm just, I'm bored. Like, I need something. Like, could we do, like, a and match? And Mark was playing well. And, and I was playing well. And he goes, could we just do, like, a match? Uh-oh. And I'm like, yeah, for sure. <laughs> but I need to do a match against my own But partner. just to, like, keep him in the zone. I'm yeah. like, yeah. But after that, in my head, I was like, this fucking guy is unbelievable. <laughs> dude, And it's... my play went dude, to absolute If you're in that shit. position, you're playing against people that it's not even fun anymore because and it's I, not competition. Yeah, and and but for me, I was like, yeah, I wanted to keep you in. So let me let me yeah. And yeah. that's why I didn't make you pay. Yeah. I was like, and I, no, but was I wasn't the, going the, to pay. 
Yeah. No, no way. Wait, sorry, go to pet. <laughs> That's such an illegal move to be four up in a car match and in a good place with your partner and then try to bet against your partner. Yeah, dude. That's, that's insane. An elite, that's, that's insane. That's that an insane. No, that's an insanely. That, that's an insanely illegal breach of friendship and trust. But I understand where you're coming from, and in the moment, I will humor you. But in no way will, it does that bind. Yeah, I needed it to feel real, and I was like, yeah. oh, it doesn't matter, like five bucks, ten bucks. And yeah, I was like, let's do fifty. And I'm like, yeah. oh, fuck but that's because yeah, I wanted him to keep into it. <laughs> oh, I was like, let's do fifty. Oh, fuck yeah. yeah, dude. Yeah, and I was <laughs> like, because I need, we still have holes left for this cart match, yeah, yeah, and I'm yeah. losing my indie, so I need, I need you to into it. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> and yeah, in my head, and it, you know. It ruined the rest of my round, <laughs> but I still got paid off. We and got you won. Yeah, so that, at the insurance. end of the day, that's what happens. Yeah, at the end of the day, we, as long as you're paid. Yeah. At uh, the end of the well day, we played. walked into the pro shop and we went, "Ooh, what shirt do you want?" Yeah. And oh. I, I did this move mid round with Scootsy because, like, at the turn at Payne's, there's a halfway like it's it's sick. You go in, you get like. Free food, free bison dogs, free oh, snacks. Bison dogs. Bison they also dogs, have bro. they also have apparel in there. So I beat Scootsy on the front. And I go, hey, listen, I'll just take the payment now as a shirt. <laughs> so uh, I just throw on the fresh shirt that he just paid for on the back nine. Wow. Was it hot? Was it like humid? No, yeah. dude. It was it was nice. It wasn't though. that bad. It, it was, was it was there was a couple moments that got hot, but you're also up on a mountain most yeah. of the day. So Yeah, I definitely God. got burnt. The sun was scorching. Yeah. yeah. But it wasn't like crazy hot. Damn it, dude. All right. Well as long as we can go next year and it's not during EDC week. Dude, so this is what this is what the drama was. Uh, oh yeah, obviously like Daltouche, a big gamer. He's part of uh, GGC, which is Golf Gaming Club. Yep. Um, and Scootsy just started working for them. Yeah. Um, we played in the Golf Gaming Club tournament in Vegas. Yeah, we won that shit. We did fair we... and square. <laughs> <laughs> I I hit the longest drive in front of the most people. Right. Well, okay. So we yeah, won. We won in a playoff. Yes. We won in a playoff. Fair yep. and square. Fair and square. Um, there is videos of us out there rolling putts. Which is before you, before. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face. Don't. Look at his face. Look at his face. Before you hit a putt. What you, F you factors? Go, you go, hey, which way does this break? You roll it with your hand. No, I was, like, I was tossing Griff's ball back to him. Yeah, we were tossing <laughs> yeah. the ball back. Sure, sure. Legal, legal play. That okay. being says, does it really help you make putts? Probably not. You still got to make the fucking putt. Did so, you, but the, the drama was they saw that after the fact. And they were a little upset about um, that. And they kind of, you know, they labeled us as cheaters of the scramble tournament. Now, that is a fair assessment, right? You go, you see rolled putts at a scramble. Now, the, the argument of where I come into play is we're out there. Jesus, GCC, uh, uh, golf and gaming club is a smaller brand that has potential to blow up. And I love the brand. I love the people that are associated with it. Yep. We uh, right now are a, uh, bigger brand and we wanted to be out there. And the scrambles that we have played in are, I would say a little lax scrambles. Actually, I think most four man scrambles are a little like the competitive aspect isn't. I don't even think that's it. Let me, if, if you don't mind, uh, uh, I can. The competitive okay, aspect. You, you do mind. The com you do mind. He minds. Okay. No, I do mind. The competitive <laughs> aspect of a scramble in our eyes is like, have a good time. Obviously, don't lie about the scores. Yeah. Which we didn't. Mm -hmm. Every shot that we made was a made putt that we made. But there's like little things that you do of of rolling putts. Like, oh, this is – oh, here's your ball, Stotts. Like, yeah. what's the what if factor? Oh, this went in. That's a par. Like, if it's the PGA Tour, yes. If it's a scramble, it's like, yeah, it's a joke. And, like, we're not trying to demean the competition of the scramble – we're just trying to have fun yep. and make content, yep. which is what we're about. And if you invite us, you know what type of content and you know our scramble ethics. Yep. I thought that you would know what we would be about. That being said, we never took one stroke. Exactly. Okay. Also, we played out of our minds that day. Yep. We did. In the wind, in the freezing fucking freezing rain. We rain. did. And we only tied to go into a playoff. And in that playoff, the guy that is So before you up, say this. Before you say this, because this could get a little muddy. This could get a little. We don't want to accuse people. I'm not accusing anybody. I know, I'm just but, what but happened. all we want to say is yes, we rolled putts. We apologize. I still have my trophy. 
and I will bring my trophy <laughs> to the Top Golf tournament, and I will hand back my trophy, and I will make a public apology if that is so be it what you want because I would love to continue to work with the GCC. I believe in them. Yeah. I love them. I love the dudes that are with them. And if rolling putts over a tournament is going to like sever a relationship and a scramble, like here's my tournament trophy back. I will never do that again. I would love to be invited back. We won't roll putts. We will treat this like the fucking Sunday at the Masters. I promise you. Now... In the playoff, we played against the guy who is the head of GGC. We didn't know that at the time. We didn't know this guy. Um, we all striped our first drives. Yep. If you remember. Yeah. The GGC team has sprayed the shit out of theirs. Oh, and I know where you're going with they this. They were in, a, in like to the right side of a cart path in some fescue. Yep. And they go, hey, can we drop it on the left side of the cart path? And we, and we in go, good faith. We go, well, no, but in good faith. For the Ev content, everybody, for the, for everybody said it was an illegal drop. Yeah. Yep. Everybody said it was an illegal drop. And, we, and what did we say? We said it's a four man scramble. And it's in the, friendly rules in the form of content. Cause everybody's out here filming. Let's have a good match. Yes. We gave them this drop. And that's the dude that is hung up, hung up on, <laughs> on us. Uh, rolling putts. So, so it's like, how do you call us out for that? Don't be accusatory. Um, don't be, that's accusatory. Don't don't Why we don't, don't want to take that position. Because, I'll take that position. Uh, but, that's because uh, that's genuinely what happened. Well, that's it, genuinely it, it, what happened. That's where the that's where the hang up of like us. That's where the hang up of us like coming on bending knee and being like, hey, we fucked up. No, we, I don't I, give a shit about working with them if this guy can't meet us somewhere to be like, yeah, it was also we gave you a drop. Yeah, so like, that's 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 what I was yelling about in a drunken stupor. Of like, why should we give a shit of working if like you don't want to have the same owner? Why should we take accountability if not, you're not? This is take not of like you need us, we need you. It's yeah. just you guys are good people. We're good people. It, exactly. We like hanging yeah. out. Yeah. But it, it, don't it, call us out for fucking rolling butts it, if it, we gave you an illegal drop. Yes. Yeah. 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 So yeah. Which is totally fair. That. And, and furthermore, Griff made a 70 foot putt to win. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We tied. And both. got it. And got it the tournament millions of fucking views. We tied. Sure. We tied in the first hole, and then I don't think we played the second hole because it was getting dark, so we went straight to the putt. Yeah. But the way I look at it is this. is like everybody bends the rules in these fucking things. Yeah, it's a four-man scramble. It's a four-man scramble. Fun. It's cold. I wouldn't be surprised if some people – pushed their pencil a little uh a, a little negatively i would not be surprised at all and i guarantee a hundred percent i would die on it i put my life saying things on it whatever they shot in their team was not a legitimate score there yes. was one stroke that at technically could be taken back yes so at the end of the day boom we are all accountable for our own actions yes we rolled putts i'm sorry we will return the trophy we love your shit we want to continue working with you yeah my trophy broke Mine's sitting on my. Mine's sitting on my desk, bro. Mine's mine's in a nice little spot. Mm -hmm. Um, but and, look, and, and, and and we didn't mean we didn't do it to cheat your tournament. No, it's honestly it is a. At this point for me, it's a it's a funny bit. I think it's hilarious because yes. it bothers Jake. Yeah. So I yeah. I think it's funny and yeah. it's also I love coming up with stupid ways to pretend that I'm giving someone their ball back. Yeah. So I can watch it roll the line of the putt. Furthermore. It's not like we're sitting where our ball is marked and rolling the ball. It's well, let's, it's, let's, 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 let's not let's not like let's yeah. not do that. Oh no no no! But I'm just saying. I just want to I just want to get down to the specifics so that people understand. Like yes, okay, sure, we're roll we're rolling putts, but it's not technically like okay. Yeah, we're not like just, sitting there behind I, the thing. If I do this from my quarter, what, what, how and, much? And no. and to be honest, if I'm being completely honest, it's. The stuff that they caught on camera was for a reason because we knew the cameras were around and we were doing the bit of like, Ooh, what if factor the cameras yeah. here? We're country club adjacent. Is that the is that the one that I made yeah. the like yes, forty footer? Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah See yeah, furthermore, yeah. I 
believe that the what if factor <laughs> should absolutely be implemented no. with every team. <laughs> and let me no. let me explain to you why. Let me no. explain oh, to you no, why. Dude, we didn't want to go here, bro. No, no, no. This is this is why. This is this to hey, me. Listen. This is listen. GGC, we, we love, love you. <laughs> okay, but let me explain. To Stotts you. and Griff have a problem. No, this That's, isn't a I'm, problem. I'm this this there. is honestly this is honestly good and, and will help grow the game of golf. Okay, what if factor? Don't, don't it, it as that. No, no, I'm going to. I'm game. going to. I'm going to. The what if factor. Listen, you're in a scramble. You have a shot that you're gonna take. The group agrees on fucking Jake's ball that's four feet from the hole. I have a ball that's nine feet from the hole. Why can't I go ahead and take my putt before anyone else takes their putt? So therefore, it is. It is literally just. Hey, I'm doing this for practice. But if it goes in. Why not? No one else hit the putt. It's my putt. I hit the putt. It goes in. You know what, guys? We should have taken my ball. Yeah, we should have taken your ball. I was the only one to stroke the ball. It's not like I'm doing it after five people already made their putt or missed their you putt. You really need Griff here to back you up because both me and... Stots. But listen, Stots. listen. Stots. The what Stots. if factor, it is a fun, exciting Stots. thing that just adds Stots. an element. Stots. Yeah. Stots. Stots. For, for as many things that I wanted i try to take responsibility for in my life yeah you have a problem you Stots. and griff Stots. yeah have a problem okay if you take a what if putt that gives you five chances potentially no it it, it doesn't <laughs> yes it does yes, okay it does. technically aristotle does. aristotle it gives you Jordan. one more chance aristotle Jordan, anybody else out you there. have a problem with uh, cheating i it it's more fun for me to play a competitive round which is fair in a scramble and i don't give a fuck about the backpack that we're gonna win I want. I like the competitive nature. When you and Griff cheat, if it's a what if factor, if it's rolling putts, if it's genuinely moving numbers around, it, if it's it, signing I, it the long me. drive under a woman, I just I love the what if inside. factor for everybody. I I don't Listen, think Stotts, I think we, everyone should take. And it. you know what's so frustrating Stotts, is I've been the no cheater in the scramble guy. Yeah. Since fucking day one, bro. All I'm saying is that I, I think everyone should have the equal opportunity to do the... Stotts, the, we called you in here today. Yeah. yeah, we called you in here today. This is actually a bit. And you have a problem. And you the have, first step to your problem... Is admitting that is, it, admitting is cheating. That is a problem and that is cheating. <laughs> you say... I'm not I'm saying it's not cheating. What I'm Stotts, saying is that voice. it's more fun. Stotts, put your eyebrows down. And I think no everybody... No you. Put your eyebrows down. Stotts, no one's okay. attacking you. We're here. <laughs> we love down you. Enough? Stotts, we love you. We love you. You have a. Pr we both have had this problem before, <laughs> and we've gotten over it by not cheating. Mm -hmm. It's it's Stots, just so funny. You have a golf. <laughs> I know it's funny. It is because it's all, it's so it's such a silly. <laughs> See, I like it. You're calming down. <laughs> Stots. Look, everyone so, deserves their what if. Stots, every group deserves no, one what every, if. Every they do deserve they do it, deserve it. But but it is a problem. I don't think it's a problem until it's if everyone problem. adopts it. And if, if we don't respect the rules of golf, what do we stand for? What do for? we stand for? We stand for What do we stand for? Hitting long bombs and and dropping long putts. Baby. GGC, we've taken <laughs> the steps to <laughs> correct to correct, correct the problem. our problems internally. <laughs> so please please Take the steps Please. to correct your problems internally. And and put Stots, on the T-sheet no, that I'm everyone calling. deserves a what if putt <laughs> because it will no. add such a fun no. element to every no. group and they will love it. And can you imagine the excitement <sighs> that will go down but in hey, the group Stots, when they Stots, drain their 40-foot <laughs> what, what if putt? If there was what if factors, you would find a, something else. Yeah. What? Yeah, it, right. There would be a no, what if, that's what my if. rule. No, there would no, be a what if, what if. That's my rule. would be a what if, what if, rule. It would be like a what if, what if. Factor, hey bro. man, all I'm saying you would be like, what if, what if, what if I hit this fairway? Yeah, all yeah. I'm saying is that the how's about the what if? I don't. I'm not trying <laughs> to have with the how's about what if factor. I'm yeah. trying to say is, is that I think everyone should have the opportunity. I'm not. I'm not even trying to take the extra opportunity. I spread this joy to I every look at, person. I look at rolling putts. I'll speak in video game terms. I look at rolling putts as like a as like a overclocking your controller or like a stream sniping in a fall guys or among us twitch rivals tournament it's like yeah it's a little overtly line but the competitive nature of it it's like we're all it's all in good fun you yeah. know i don't know what those words mean well we, mark knows uh, mark knows. and ggc you know? knows and they still follow me so i'm trying to keep that yeah <laughs> No, I, you know what? You know what? Definitely, you know, we're going to stop rolling putts, but I'm going to talk to tournament directors everywhere. Uh, 
<laughs> and <laughs> we are going to. It's we're fine, going, I still like that. You can still talk to Turner. We're going to talk. Stop. We're going to talk about implementing what if rules. Yes. Every group yes. gets a what if That's because fine. guess what? It's fun mm-hmm. and it adds this extra spicy element of spicy. like spicy. We love hey, spicy. Hey, elements. there's a there's a twenty foot putt. There's a four foot putt. You you know we're taking yeah, the four foot. Because usually what if putts are like, kind of like a one handed. Yeah, banger. it's not like I'm lining the putt. You walk yeah, up yeah, and you, you just, just smash like it. Smash it. It's like a what if. It's what if. Ooh, what, what if, if it, I hit this putt one handed and it if went it in? goes in? Cool. Yeah. So that's all I'm saying. I'm we saying made a fucking I, 95 foot putt. Like what the fuck? Like what? Are, like what are we? What are we arguing? Here? Yeah, and furthermore, no one hit their putt before my what if. My what if went went in. So who the what the fuck? Like you know? Okay. Well, what, what do you um, what What do you on, want? On another note, uh, I'd like to give a, a shout out to a tournament <laughs> that we did not cheat in. That uh, Griff and I did not cheat in. The uh, group chat golf tournament. Oh, on that looks, Cape Cod. Yep. Uh, Guaranteed brought, you cheated in it, but no, we didn't. We genuinely did not. Uh, we I brought two. Of Wasn't my, it two man two man twosome? Four four person. Uh, and we played with another foursome because I brought two of my buddies from the Cape, um, mm. who are sticks plus handicaps, okay. and the, we played against four other plus handicaps from the Cape, and we just played like a, a internal match and obviously for the tournament. Yeah. Um, okay. we played on. We made every single putt. That's the um, key. Made okay. every single putt, and it was just such a fun event. We. We won in a playoff. Who are you calling? No one. Griff? Yeah. He's in Scotland. Okay. Yeah, ask him. Ask him. I, oh, don't get defensive. Put your eyebrows I'm defensive because you're <laughs> literally don't not your... trusting me. No. Hey, Griff. How are you doing? Sorry to call you so late. What's going on? Hey, in the um, tournament that you and Jake played, uh, where was this? In the group chat golf? Tournament? I know where this is. I know where this is going, and I'll answer the question before you even ask it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Not one, not one. It's on the bottom. Not one. Not even, not even a debate about one. Or, and I'll tell you why. And it's not because you know, fucking Stotts wasn't there. Like, <laughs> Sorry. I'm not gonna sit here and act like because we're great dudes. But, <laughs> but, but, but there was another foursome that joined with us, and these dudes were just as competitive as we were, and they were like watching everything like hawks. So you couldn't. You could not cheat because they they were in a group with us. Vice versa, they couldn't cheat, so it was legit, and it was the the most it was the the, the most proud I've ever been of a win or anything. Nineteen under, we like, shot nineteen we under. The lights the fuck out. It's good to hear. Yeah, so nice. fuck off, Mart. It's good to hear. I believe them. Is this on the podcast? Yes. Okay, cool. Because yeah. we did not fucking cheat. So one time we didn't cheat. And we fucking earned that, dude. <laughs> did, what did you guys earn? Huh? What did you guys earn? Um, dude, oh, speaking of, we... wanted to play Pinehurst. Yeah. And Tobacco Road. Wow. Pretty sick, dude. I, 100% pretty sick. you guys cheated. That's fucking hands down. There's no way. Mark, what, you, you didn't what know is the this? prize. You I mean, I believe him, dude. You knew the prize. You were like, I need to play no. Pinehurst and Tobacco Road. I'm doing a bit. I'm doing a bit. Well, I'm your bit, bit sucks okay. because it's aggressive towards our... But, our but here's, here's the what thing. we stand for. There was no... There what was we no cheating, for? not because not because we're great guys, and it had the other foursome not been there, I'm not gonna act like where Jake and I would have had a clean card. Okay, so that's fair. I believe you. That's those fair. Dudes playing with us, you couldn't you couldn't cheat. Like it, just like if we played with other groups, you can't cheat when there's a group watching. These you. are guys that's who have like thing. won the Mass Am. Yeah. Mass oh, the Mass Am. Yeah, that's huge. I didn't know like, they won the Mass it was Am. competitive. We didn't it was know they won the Mass Am. Am. One of the dudes won the Mass Am. One won the Rhode Island Am. And it was a group of four sticks, and they were all plus three and plus four. And, and we, we beat took them. those dudes. Down. Were any of their dads lawyers? <laughs> um, I, I, one of them felt like his dad was a very powerful lawyer. Yeah. Okay. I believe it then. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Griff. I appreciate that. We, we, uh, we, yeah. Thank How, you. How's Scotland, Griff? How's Scotland, Griff? Taking care of my sick dad. You guys have a good night. Oh, okay. oh my dad's sick. All right. Give him a kiss. Yeah, we love you. I love him. Guys. Bye. Miss you. Bye. Bye. Damn. That sucks. I didn't know his dad was sick. I believed you from the moment you said that, Jake. Yeah, I believed you the whole time. I believed you the whole time. But uh, yeah, I'm very excited to go to Pinehurst and play Tobacco Road with my boys from the Cape. Um, and I think because it's uh, Tyler Moore is putting it on, we can have you guys come as well and okay. just have a boy, uh, fucking a trip for a lifetime, similar to Payne's Valley uh, this September. Uh, September. Yep. I cannot wait. Yep. Let's go, dude. It's I gonna be wait. perfect. And the group chat guys are gonna go as well. It's gonna be. We're gonna have three groups out there. And uh, wow, my buddies from the Cape are—they're just the fucking best. Solid. Okay. Yeah. 
Solid squad. Oh, that being said, group chat, never do a raffle that takes that long ever again. Oh, Ooh, there's ever. a long raff. You long raff. You know what you've done. It was an hour and a half for a raff. And you gave out shit prizes. Oof. You gave out a part of it was a hat. Okay. You gave out like a golf towel for one of them. Find a way to consolidate that because you felt it. I felt it. Everybody. We only stuck around because we thought there was going to be like a ceremony at the end because we won. It wasn't. Jake wanted we a ceremony, left. dude. Okay. I wanted a little bit more shine for making a putt in my fucking Jesus threes. Okay. Uh, in front of people who are chirping at my shoes. So you're welcome. You didn't do a ceremony after, which is, you know, that's fine. Uh, I have the video. But do never, ever do a raffle of that length ever again. Go off, King. My goodness. Go off, King. That must have been a long raffle for Dude, Jake to off, get King. that serious. Hey, Jake, go off, King. Jake was very serious right yeah, there. That was yeah. a serious unbelievable, ass unbelie Jake. Unbelievable length. Unbelievable. Okay. Unbelievable. I'm fucking pissed for you. Yeah, it was dude. an hour in and the table was You made an 80 full. foot putt to win. You don't even get a fucking ceremony? You Nothing. deserve a ceremony. Uh, you didn't even get called up? I mean, the v the video got a good amount of views. No, but did you get called up? To no. Wow. No. You got to get a ceremony, dude. No one said the winner of the tournament? <gasps> That's no. fucking unbelievable. Blasphemy. I even, I even put on a different, I put on a sweatshirt, changed my shoes because I didn't want the shine from when we were all hanging out. Yeah. I was like, maybe they wouldn't recognize me. Yeah. But I wanted a little bit. Bro, of at yeah. least the GGC. You deserve we cheated to win the GGC tournament. You deserve And they it. gave us a ceremony. Yeah, yeah. there was pictures. There, there was, was like pictures and thing. trophies. The fuck you guys doing? Unbelievable. Also, I'm sorry. Maybe follow up with, with my prize. Oh. <gasps> Where you, you, been, you haven't been following where up. You at, where you at there, Sonny Chubbs? Go off, Ireland. King. Do I have to come to you to collect? Go yep. off, King. I Sounds like it. You? Sounds like it. Because that shouldn't really be my place. Ooh, I should that's be, true. I should be, I should be showered with yep. my offerings. Showered. With my prizes. So, there you have it. Damn, go off, King. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. I'm, I'm, off. I'm off I'm for off. you, dude. Um, I, what else? Can I have you do a quick side note? Just a quick story. I got my car towed yesterday. Oh, Before this is great. Before we get your car towed, can we take a break to play some of these green fees? Yeah. How long have we done, by the way? 17 hours. Guys, this episode, as all of our episodes in the next what, forever a part of this podcast, is Absolutely. brought to you by Long Drink. Long Drink. Long, drink. long summer. Long D summer, baby. Mm -hmm. uh, as, you, as you guys have seen uh, on, our, on our Instagram, we, there is a very special... Um, um, thing going out there right now called, uh, which Long Drink is sponsoring called Pants Pants Drunk, and they are donating ten dollars for every photo that you guys post or video that you are drinking Long Drink in your underwear. Ten dollars to the Joel Damon Foundation. That's which right, directly dude. supports testicular cancer. Yep. And uh, we're fully supporting of uh, of this. And yeah. What a, what a great initiative for the next month of June. At, at this point, you'll probably have seen our Instagram post of all of us on the casting couch. Mm -hmm. um, we did not have a fluffer present, so that's why we're not hard. It's a factor. But mm -hmm. we do support. That is true. We didn't get to see those beautiful, gorgeous bosoms. Um, but we do support the long drink. We do support this cause. It is fucking awesome. Thank you so much. To the long drink for being our title sponsor on the podcast right now. And uh, guys. And what a better way. What yeah. a better way to support a good cause than by being able to drink a great beverage. Oh, my God. A I've... finish made beverage. Literally. Uh, Dude, citrus, clean, you know refreshing. You know what it is for me? What is What's it for that? you? It's not the gin. Mm? It's not the grapefruit. Uh huh? It's the little touch of juniper. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that you juniper. You can smell it. Mm -hmm. You can smell the juniper. Yeah, it's fresh. Ooh. Yep. Griff not doesn't drink. I was drinking one of these in the cart next to him, and he goes, he just he goes, is that juniper? No. My guy has a nose for juniper. Yeah, and it was he's a uh, slight alcoholic. But <laughs> <laughs> we love long drink, and uh, get some long drink, take some photos, and yep. support a good cause. It's everywhere in your city. It's in your city, and it is delicious. Long drink, long drive. That's right, baby. Man, what a quick story though. I got yeah. I went to the uh, Hermosa Beach Fair yesterday and um, with my girlfriend and my girlfriend's mother, nice Jewish family. Uh, pull up at this public parking lot. There's like two little signs that say tow away parking um, in the f completely full parking lot. So Wendy, my girlfriend's mother, goes, just move it. I go, hell yeah, Wendy, I'm about that life. So I move it. We go to the fair. We come back. Car's fucking gone, right? Toad. Car is towed. I'm like, Jesus Christ, whatever. I'm not too pissed, whatever. I get the car towed. 
um, I call up to find uh, where the car's towed, and I go, is this an illegal tow? Because I feel like it's a public parking lot. The lady at the police station goes, actually, we have you on camera moving a <laughs> sign uh, that you shouldn't park there. I go, wasn't me. So I go, whatever, I'm going to fight it to just get the video. As I'm waiting for the Uber to go to the tow yard, two police officers walk out from the building um, to one young, like, sidekick-looking guy and the older police officer. And he hands me a card for the tow yard. And he goes, yeah, this is where we uh, towed your car. My fucking girlfriend's mom, shout out fucking Wendy, starts chirping at this police officer. Like... Everything that I've ever wanted mm -hmm. in like a social situation of like, you know what? Just have my back a little bit. Yep. Even if I'm slightly in the wrong, have my back. She's like, I mean, we're at a public fair. You got nothing better to do than to tow one fucking car out of a parking lot full of cars. And there's six empty parking spaces. Feels fake. It feels fake, doesn't it? And he goes, well, we saw him move the camera. We saw him move the thing. And she goes, I don't give a fuck if he moved it. What? F how fucking lazy are you that you just sit in there, watch a fucking camera all day? And he goes, da, 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 da. And she goes, and you know what? It's $500. It's a fucking drop in the bucket to us, hon. Doesn't even scratch the fucking bottom of the surface. We could pay that with our eyes closed. And I'm loving this energy. She's mm -hmm. going off on this cop. And I go, hey, Wendy. I go, eh, it's all right. The guy's like, I was like, be easy. He's working real hard. In like the the sneery, the sniest, like snarky, sar snarkiest, sarcastic, yeah. but like I'm serious tone. The cop looks at me dead nuts in the eyes. And he has this look of acceptance. And he goes, hey, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. And I give him this look of like, oh, I was being facetious, you piece of shit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and the guy went white as a ghost. No. And I went, you are a fucking lazy bum fuck of a police officer. What are they? And the guy just now puts his head down and both of them start turning around. Now both me and Wendy are chirping at this guy. Oh, they stick you on parking lot duty. <laughs> oh, you can't be in the streets. You got to watch body cam. How many people did you shoot to get stuck on fucking <laughs> parking lot duty? That's so good. And they're good. still walking. I'm going, $500, a drop in the bucket. A drop in the bucket. Oh, it was phenomenal. I love that, dude. I it love phenomenal talking shit to pigs oh, it was dude phenomenal because he came up in the such snarkiest tone of like we got you on camera buddy yeah see and we that's gotcha and it's on camera it's so lame why yeah are there four toe things in that dude, like okay I understand spots reserved for president of Dickbag Bank, whatever yeah, it is. It was, it was, it was a fake shit. It was so I got Todd. I got the homie Todd Rubenstein. I'm going to make it one call. We're fighting this. If anything, I'm at least getting the video. Damn right. Get the video. <laughs> get the video. content. Yeah. Hey, throw the video mm -hmm. over this story you just told on the podcast. And yep. you got, you, now you got some social media clip. You, yep. got, you got some social Monetize media Monetize it for Instagram Reels as a bonus. Yep, as a Capitalize bonus. Capitalize off that. That's what I was. Guess that's, what? Oh, that's what my dumbass was saying. I was going. I'm getting the video. I'm getting a hundred thousand views. I'm making money off of it. Yeah, I'm gonna pay for one eighth <laughs> so of what funny. I paid to get my car out of the tow yard. <laughs> it was it was seven hundred dollars. Uh, it that's, was a lot of money. That's it's not a drop in the bucket. It actually hurt me very deeply. Yeah, but it felt <laughs> good to felt yell good at to say that though. Paul and George. Yeah, and then like I get a ticket on the ticket. It's a ticket for interfering with an officer. Because I moved the fucking sign. Yeah, the sign's an officer, dude. Fuck you didn't know here, that? Fuck you didn't know that here, that is a police officer that our tax dollars pay for? Oh, fucking you didn't realize? I didn't know I had to back the orange as well as the fucking blue. Your fucking orange cones are officers? Nope. Todd! Todd! I need you, Todd! Help him. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, to close this, this pod out, I mean, I think the only thing we haven't talked about is stats at EDC. Yeah, that is true. The um, thing, the thing that made me miss Payne's Valley, was this was was. Did you take Molly. Yeah, I did. First time in uh, two years. I forgot to text you, bro. 
What were I you going to text me? I was just going to text you how much I love you when you were on Molly. Oh, that would have been... Because I texted hit. you the night before. Yeah, 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 you did. And I was like, are you on Molly? Yeah. It was and you're like, no, Saturday. And I was like, okay. And then I, Saturday came out. <laughs> and you forgot. You were yeah. drunk. You were getting, oh, yeah. you were I'm getting sorry. yelled at. No, go. One more thing I forgot to say about pains is that the day that we were all supposed to leave, um, Tush and I, uh, we're, we played a morning round because we had a flight at 4 p.m. that day. Yep. And Tush and I just started drinking Pink Whitney, uh, those little, like, shooters. Oh, yeah. Um, and it just got us to a place where, like, just to to quote, like, um, uh, fuck, what's that movie with Leonardo DiCaprio? When he's like, I'm not leaving. I'm Wolf of Wall Street. Oh. Well, yeah. We, like, channeled that moment. And yeah. we, on the 16th hole of the round, we were supposed to leave, go to the airport right after. Just both changed our flights. <laughs> we went back to Payne's, played a, played a played a twilight round of Payne's. It was Sick. fucking amazing. Dude. I shot the round of my life. I sh- like for Payne's, it's yeah. very tough, like a tougher course. I did. Um, and uh, we we stayed over that night um, in this weird ass Airbnb, but it was like all, it was part of Big Cedar. But it was like um, twenty five minutes away. Twenty five minutes down the windiest road ever. That's fun. Um, and it was just uh, we also magic got, like, crazy drunk. Did you guys touch? Um, did you guys touch buttholes? Yeah, you uh, like sent me a video that made no fucking sense. I was just trying to tell you we're not leaving. And then you were like talking shit to me. And I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. Dude, the, I feel like <laughs> you guys know. were what drunk is, the whole time. Dude, we were hammered. <laughs> dude, yes. Dude, Alex, Alex, how much did we drink on that trip? They drank maybe like four 30 racks. I can I tell you like. exactly because Labatt Blue gave us four 30 racks. <laughs> and you those are gone. Them. Long Drink gave us... Uh, Five or six six packs, and those were gone. Damn, so you so, guys. Put and that them doesn't back. include all the stuff we got from the cart girl from of the. Of course, yeah. From, yeah. The so, number that she got from her. Um, but that being said, I still go there and I'll drink water along the way to find the level where you're comfortably drunk. Yep. But also still being able to play good golf. That's right. And that's that's, that what, that's the, the key. That is the absolute key. Yep. And to eat healthy on long trips. Um, and to grind out a par on one. That's if how you do I, that, those things, dude. That's how I am. That's how I am with drugs. Mm-hmm. That's literally how you got to do it, dude. If you want to sustain and survive, yeah, and not thrive. all of us found those levels on the yeah. trip, <laughs> mine's, dude. Mine's mine's make make uh make no big numbers on fourteen and fifteen. Okay, that's fair. No big numbers on fourteen and fifteen, and then you all have a good run. But yeah. fourteen and fifteen can really unlock you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, unhinge you. Yeah, yeah. I can really that. unlock you. Unlocking I like you, that. I feel like is like a good thing. Un- no, no, no. Locking you is a good thing. Locking you in is unlocking. Good oh, I would thought unhinged. No, like, if you get I unlo- thought like you, unlocking your potential to be great. It, unlocking that's how your I potential, look. but like I guess that's a video game term. It's uh, like like if you become unlocked, you're, then you're you're fucking you're unhinged. You're, yeah, I like unhinged, but that's but, just me. Yeah, I want to touch on the fact that we stayed late. <laughs> no, dude, we I could not leave. Dude, I I had a similar situation uh, with you know our trip to Vegas for EDC. We we ended up so starts on Wednesday the week before. Uh, the week, uh, Wednesday, the two days before it actually started, you know, get to Vegas. Dude, we rented an RV. Okay. Now this is a crucial if anyone's ever camping at EDC because it was so nice. We drove to Vegas. We pick up our RV. We go. Just get, you and so Cindy cool. or like? Just me and Cindy. Wow. Yeah. We drive to Vegas, get our RV. We stock it up with all our shit. We drop wow. it at the campsite. We go. We stay at Resorts World the night before. We have like a nice shower. We go to dinner. We have a nice like relaxing night. Thursday, it begins. You know, we go to site. We get on there in and your RV. in our, our, our own RV with AC. You know, we have our own bathroom, our own shower. It's like. So fucking nice. And Thursday, you know, Thursday, you got to take it easy. You just, you go out, you see the pre-party and everything. You hang out back at the camp. You know, I was DJing, just fucking around, playing some disco and that type of shit. And then Friday was my two sets. So I couldn't really party on Friday. I went out, like we did our, we did our shit. And then I had my first set at 3 a.m. on Boombox Art Car. And turns out the way that I had anticipated it is that my second set, which was on the Titanic's end art car, that's more of like a stage setup. And I was playing the sunrise slot and I anticipated that one being packed out because everyone mm, stays all remember night. Remember what we talked about? Yes, yes, we did. Remember what I remember what about? you talked about. Yeah. So I had got my media guy and everything for the second, uh, the second set. First set was like gonna be a warm up set or whatever. First set ends up slamming, dude. There, it, it just like whatever traffic was walking by, heard what was going on, stopped, 
hung out and it was packed and it was fucking epic. The art car itself is so cool. It's a big ass boom box and it's like a window there and you're DJing through the window and it was epic. Run that shit three to four a.m. My next set's four fifteen. We sprint over to the other art car. Get there. Emo night is finishing up right there, and they had they had a nice crowd. This is at four a.m. that that I walk up there, and uh, as soon as they finish their last song, everyone everyone disperses, and I'm like, okay, I've seen this before. What happens is you start playing, and then oh, hello. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, you're good. Uh, it's not gonna it's not gonna fix yeah yeah, it's it's yeah. End, end of the pod baby. into yeah. the pod into the pod energy uh the crowd disperses and i've seen this in the past stages people leave and then a new group comes in no new group came in so it was like for like a really long time before like pasquale and the whole crew showed up with oh, like that's good. 60 70 people like the first like 20 30 minutes was like pretty pretty sparse uh, and, and then they showed up for a while and then I had like a nice crowd for a little bit and then they left and then it was like the whole festival was gone at that point. Like it was around five, five no in the morning. One, no, one, no one was going hard. No one. Everyone was done. Like I even looked over to stage two, which is, uh, I, uh, what was that one called? Um, I can't remember the name of the stage, but it's the second biggest stage. And it was like empty Big over Thorn. there. Big Thorn. Big Thorn. We'll call it Big Thorn. Yeah. Empty over there. So I so at this point I'm like, oh, I, I don't care. And so I start yelling at You're people. You're a little foot. You're a little foot. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm I'm like I'm taking requests right now. And so I played it. Some people came up and like <laughs> get, yeah. asked for songs or whatever. And I played them. And it it ended up finishing out. It was super fun. The, this couple was there and they were having like the time of their lives. Yeah. And that's sometimes that's that's the best. And and then I because I saw how much fun they were having then I was like, "Oh yeah, this is what it's all about, dude." Yes. It's like this Literally, all you need is one two people. This like, connection. Yeah. So, it was it ended up being fantastic. Saturday comes around. Now this is the day that I decide like I'm going in tonight. And uh, you know, started I took Molly around like 11 11 p.m. Shit is fucking like fire, dude. Like I'm Thuman, I'm fizzing. I'm having a good ass time. He's fizzing. Yeah, we make it through the night. We get we we get to sunrise. Now this is where I made the mistake of doing a little too much of everything. Uh, homie asked me if I want to try pink or blue to see, and I'm like, you know what? I've done this once before. Don't really remember what it was like. Uh, which one do you like better? He goes, I like the pink. I'm like, cool. Let's do the pink to see. So I take some to see. And it's kind of like acid, but not fully, not quite like the same fun vibes. It's like more like, like nerve worldly. Yeah. Like you're like otherworldly. Yeah. You're just kind of like walking, but Other you're like dimension. behind in yeah, a step. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like, everything's like slow motion, but kind of fast. I'm like, this is pretty cool. It's slightly salvia ish kind of. Sure. Yeah. Uh, it was just, it felt weird i i've heard it described as like almost like a walking dmt yeah that i mean yeah that's fair when i when i when i was alone later that's i could totally yeah. see that i couldn't figure out how to brush my teeth it was wild um <laughs> and then and then you know we're at this after party i know i was like I just, what, what was i doing i fuck i just He's uh, watching youtube videos yeah i'm like <laughs> i'm like confused so we get to this after party and um the same guy who offered me two C was like, "Hey, do you want to do some ketamine?" And it's like eight a.m. at this time. I'm like, "Sure, why not? Let's do some ketamine." This guy sucks. Yeah, <laughs> I know. He just keeps fuck this guy, bro, dude. And I'm like, "All right, let's fucking do it." So I do some ketamine, and I like I I was deep at this point. I was like, "Holy shit, this is I'm I'm here. I don't know what's going on. I can barely at this point. I'm like walking is like I have to think about it, and I, I'm I'm like I gotta piss. So I go I go to the bathroom, and as soon as I get in the bathroom, dude. I projectile vomited oh. so fucking hard. I oh. I haven't done this shit since I was like like 20 yeah, you years old. Be careful, bro. No, I I am careful and that's why I'm glad I threw up. Yeah. But it was crazy cuz as soon as I threw up, I was like, "Oh, we're back, baby." Okay. It yeah. was like it was like one of those things that the shit got out of my system and and I realized like at that moment I was like, "Okay, 2C fucking sucks." Absolutely. And then combining those two elements together, not a good, just not good. Yeah. Yeah. Weed and acid is all you need. You know what's yeah. so funny about that story? Huh. Is like, <clears throat> I don't worry about you at all. No. Uh, but like the cheating thing of like rolling putts, I'm like more concerned about that. 
no, than like you almost overdosing that's, on drugs. I what? That's you know the what thing. I, I never. Like, you almost overdosed on ketamine have, and two C and this shit. call out. Be your two C moment for rolling putts. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. Right. Yes. Deal. Exactly. Deal. Jake. Exactly. Jake will shake on yes. that. Th- this means a, this means a lot. Yeah. Genuinely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well. Damn. Then. I'm glad. You- Damn. Be careful. No, I know that. EDC. Well, I, I learned I learned a lesson there. Like first off, we're done with two C. Don't hang out with that guy. De- definitely don't hang out with that guy. The fuck. And we don't need to have we don't need to have that sort of cocktail at eight in the morning. I was just it was one of those <laughs> moments where I was just like it was eight in the morning. It was eight in the morning, dude. It was Aristotle. insane. I know. I was like, "Hey, we're we're having fun. It's EDC day two. And then day three, I just like did some shrooms and drank water, and I had the time of my life. We didn't go to sleep until like three p.m. the next day. You know, we left. Yeah. We left EDC. The after party was insane. Uh, by the end of it, there was a crackhead lady getting her pussy ate out on the dance floor by a toothless crackhead male. So that was fascinating. I'm hard. Yes, it was. <laughs> shit got that pants challenge now, dude. Dude, shit got oh, so dude, fucking what, weird, dude. And what like, does this golf podcast become? I don't know, dude. But talking about doing ket, ketamine and doozy and yeah. crackheads getting throwing dude, up. Well, this is the boneness round. This is the bonus. We've never round. gone this long. Yeah. This is like hour thirty in. Yeah, bro. This, this is a, this is this bonus one's deep. round. But it was. It, let me tell you, it was it was a lot of fun. You know, you learned a lot you, of lessons. What makes you say they were crackheads? The fact that they had like scratch marks on their face. The fact that that was the guy that was offering you all these drugs. <laughs> yeah, the guy that got, made me throw up in the fucking artist bathroom. It was it was crazy, dude. I've never I've never thrown up like that. But as soon as I did, like I said, it was like I was sober and I was like, okay, never again. We're Where was done. Cindy at all this? So she had gone to bed already at that time. See, that's you need Cindy. I need, need her Cindy. there, yeah. dude. Yeah, what the fuck, baby Cindy? girl? Where'd you go? Yeah. Um. But yeah, it was it was honestly uh hilarious. Made it through. Finish Sunday, go to our hotel. We had a beautiful spa day on Tuesday. Yeah, that's what you. That need. was the game changer, right what there. What happened Monday? Uh, Monday that that was the after party, oh, and okay. then we just literally I you said Sunday, sun, Sunday into Monday. That's all big one day, one big day, yeah. one big Sunday into Monday day, and then Tuesday we had our nice spa day. Felt really good. Went to dinner at Brezza. Of oh, course, Brezza. Did they hook it up? No, our boy left. Alex is gone. He left no. Brezza. No. Yeah, but. But good news is that he's opening his own restaurant with his girlfriend. Oh. So they're opening their own restaurant. But so, no more plug at Brezza. No. It was still delicious. No. Although I will say they did not have the black truffle pasta. I mean, that's it's like seasonal. $400, and that's like without – the Alex a cup. I ain't fucking ordering that. No, but is my favorite restaurant. Restaurant. It's still, <laughs> dude. It was still delicious. The braised short rib. It was fucking amazing. Dude, the pasta the ravioli. Yeah. Oh, and, the, and we got the chop sink salad. It was fucking. Oh amazing. my god! I almost Ooh. fucking. Yeah. We all, bro, we almost had to edit this podcast. Whew. All yeah. right. Guys, that's about all go. the time the stop. podcast should be. I yep. uh, love you guys so much. Uh, subscribe to the goddamn YouTube. Guys, New I will be videos it. from pains coming out there. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. It's okay, you did. I apologize. <laughs> um, guys, I will be in uh, Edmonton, July. No, June 15th through the 18th. Wow. Um, ticket link in my bio on Instagram, and then come watch me on stream every day. Twitch.tv slash Mark Smalls Live. I'm on band on Apex. Thank you, Daltus. Thank you, Connor. Un- Love you. Unbelievable. Bye. 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 Catch these hands, bro.